everyone. Welcome back to Studio 33 Art by Kay. I'm going to be doing something a little bit different today. I'm going to use one of these boards that I actually picked up from our local Aldi store. Um, and they're made out of ply. It's quite nicely finished actually. The back was very really nice. I've just taped it off um, to keep that looking nice. And um, I'm just going to paint straight on top of that. I believe you don't need to put any um, primer or anything like that on there. And so I'm going to use a white base, which I'm then going to put over the top of it. I'm going to drizzle on these four different ready to pour special effects um, interference pearl paints from Pouring Masters. It's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? And then I'm going to um, create four different blooms. So I'll do some leaves and some blooms. Um, I'll tell you the colours as I go, but I will also put them in the description box below. Um, but basically I'm going to use three shades of um, each colour. And I'm also going to layer some of the interference um, just underneath the cell activator. So I'll put the interference then I'll put some of the white Amsterdam titanium white um, cell activator and then I've got the global black cell activator that I'll put on top of that. Um, okay, so without further ado, I'm going to lay down a layer of the Araldo di Piolo white mixed with Australian Floetrol. Now I've just put a piece of um, pantyhose over the top here because I haven't used this bottle for a while and I just wanted to make sure there wasn't any lumps. So I'll just pour that over. So now I'm just going to use all my interference paints. I'm just going to um, drizzle them all over it. And then I'm going to do a swipe through it. So this first color is the um, Pouring Masters Special Effects Red Interference Pearl. So what I want to achieve is a swipe with these colors coming through. And the next one is the Violet Interference Pearl. I want them to go over each other as well. And that'll help to create a nice effect. And the next one is the Blue Interference Pearl. So this is just to create the base over which I will make my blooms. And now I've got the gold interference pearl. With the interference colors, you don't really see much. At the moment, it probably looks just like a cream color. But when the light hits them, they change from being just plain white to the uh, colours of the interference, which in this case is gold, so it will look gold. I can see the um, violet and the red and also the um, blue there. So do I need any more? I want to make sure I've got enough. Put more of the blue. Now I'm just going to swipe this using the Amsterdam Titanium White Cell Activator which I've mixed up with Australian Flow Troll, one part paint, four parts Flow Troll. So I'm just going to cover the back of my little spatula here with some Cell Activator. And I haven't actually done this before, so I'm not sure what the result will be. You can learn here today with me. Okay, so here we go. Let's hope it sells up. Okay. 
Oh yes, I've definitely got cells happening there. It's really pretty. So now I'll just um, swipe the rest of it. It'll take a bit because it's a fairly large piece. I'm actually not sure how big this is. I'll have to measure it in a sec. And just always just swipe really, really lightly, as lightly as you can, enough that the cell activator will go onto the canvas, but not so much that you're going to drag the paint off. I've only just received this um, little offset spatula today in the in the post from Fluid Art Co. And I've ordered some little piggy pigments finally. I've um, been putting it off and putting it off, but I've finally ordered them. So I'll do a video um, mixing those up and doing that for you early in next week. So I'll just continue to swipe this and then I'll be back with you in a moment. I don't think you can see it, but that looks absolutely beautiful. It really does. All those lovely interference colours with the cells going through them. I would have loved to have actually done it in black, but I think it would have been too much with the blooms I'm going to put on. Um, but maybe I can do another one similar, but with um, the cell activator being the black it would be absolutely beautiful. So now I'm going to put um, some beautiful, hopefully, blooms around the edge there so I'll just um, use my heat embossing tool just to burst any bubbles so now I'm going to first of all put down some green um, because I want to have some the blooms on top of green so it looks like leaves so I'm going to do the green leaves first um, and then I'll put the blooms on top. So I'm just going to, this is the Pouring Masters Green Apple Metallic Pearl. I'm just going to do some little puddles. An absolutely beautiful colour. And to contrast that, I'm going to use the Montmartre Satin Hooker's Green, which is a dark green, and it's not um, metallic like the other one is. Now I'm just going to um, put a little bit of the interference gold just underneath the cell activator. Oops, I forgot to put the green on that one. Um, never mind. We'll see what happens. Maybe that would work out better. Who knows? So now I'll just use the Global Black Cell Activator. Let's put a few drops of that into each one. I've just managed to drop something into my paint there. Get rid of that. Now I've just received um, in the post today with my little piggies this little hair dryer, which I haven't used before. It's got a small little aperture here, which I thought would be good for blowing out these leaves. 
It, it doesn't have a cold. It says low and a high. Um, so we'll see. I might hate it or I might love it. So let's go. Nope, it's got far too much power for these. So I'm just going to blow these out uh, with a straw. That will be fine because I'll have the flowers coming over it, but I'm loving the interference under that black. Help if I put cell activator on that one. Okay, so now I'm just going to do my blooms around through that. So hopefully I'll just have some of this green poking through. Um, so I'll start off with the purple. And this is the ready to pour plum crazy purple. I keep on getting little bits of dropping everywhere. So I'm just going to do that one in here. I want my blooms to be reasonably large. Then I'm going to put the global purple, which has been mixed with Australian flow troll. And then the pouring masters lavender metallic pearl. And just a little of the violet interference pearl. Tiny bit of white cell activator, just as a barrier between the interference and the black, and now the global black. Oh, that's where all the bits are coming from, the top of the black. Okay, so I'm going to try and blow this out by mouth, so excuse my head for a moment. Well, that's quite lovely. You've really got to see that in real life to see the interference going through there. It's quite lovely. Okay, so now I'll do the next one up here. This time I'm doing the pinks. So first of all, I'm putting the Pouring Masters Strawberry Red. It's going to go over the edge a bit, but that's okay. And then the Pinky by Araldo Di Piolo. Followed by the Pouring Masters Vintage Wine Metallic Pearl. And 
and then the uh, what will I put red the red interference tiny bit of white cell activator and then the black Okay, excuse my head again. Where I've put that white underneath the black, it's um, put a little um, border around that interference and uh, they're coming up beautifully. Okay, now another one up here. I'm going to go for the blue next. So I'm going to lay down the Araldo Metallic Mint first. Followed by Araldo Turquoise. And then the Pouring Masters Peacock Teal. And I'll go for the Gold Interference this time. A little bit of white and then the black And then I'm going to finish up up the top here with an orange colored bloom. So this one is a tangerine metallic pearl. Which I think it's going to look gorgeous actually. Then global warm red, which is quite an orangey sort of a red. Followed by the saffron orange by Pouring Masters. And I'll put the red interference on this one. Tiny bit of white. And then the black. my knuckle in it. Okay, so I'm feeling like I need a bit of green in here. So I'm just going to add a little green leaf in here. bit of interference
spera. Okay, so now I'm just going to put a bit of heat on those. That just helps to burst the bubbles and also bring up any um, more cells. As you can see, they're selling up really, really nice. And now I'm just going to do a little bit of uh, modification. I'm just using a meat skewer and I'm just going to draw some shape. Okay. So I'm literally just drawing wherever I think the line should be. Between the petals, just to outline the shape. I'm just going to do a little finger pop in the center of each of these just to give them a nicer center. I think I've got probably too much paint on the base. Um, Seems to be quite a bit of paint on there. So I'm tempted to do a gentle spin, uh, but sometimes you're better off not. So, um, will I or won't I? Come on, guys, tell me. 
What should I do? Just a very gentle one, eh? Here we go. Oh yeah, I quite like how that's expanded that. So I might just do a gentle spin the other way again, just very slowly. So I've sort of gained my purple, it's sort of stayed. I've lost a lot of the orange. I've kept the pink and the blue's not too bad either. Um, I think I'd just like to blow that into that space a little bit more. I'll just give this guy a bit more shape, I think. Sometimes I like to just leave them with the petals basically as they are. And other times I like to um, give them a bit more shape. Because I've spun this out now, I feel like it's um, stretched them all out. Well, obviously it has. So I just feel like they just need a little bit more shape to them now. Well, I think I'll leave that there and I'll bring you down for a close-up. So here we are coming down for the close-up of this piece. And as you can see, that interference paint is just shimmering. So this was the orange flower and I used the uh, red interference paint on that one. And that there just looks like um, monarch butterfly wings to me. And then here was the beautiful blue, which I uh, used the gold interference, and you can see that shimmering all the way across that. I've got some lovely cells and lacing there. And the leaves had the gold interference uh, paint there, and as you can see, that's coming through beautifully on the leaves. And the red one, I used the red interference. And again, it's a lovely flower. Another beautiful leaf. And then the purple one, which I use the violet interference, and you can really pick that up there. You can see the violet in the middle there. And coming over to the final leaf over here, which has that gold going through it. And then the base is the um, hero of this piece, I believe, where I've done the white swipe over the interference colors. You can see the gold, 
the violet, the red, and the blue in there. And it's just something really different. And the beauty of me doing it on the board, uh, the ply board that I did it on, is that it should stay level for me when I go to resin this piece. Um, because it's not canvas, it won't sag on me. And um, once I've resined that over the top of those interference colours, it should just absolutely shimmer in the sunlight. It'll be beautiful. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed that one today, guys. Uh, as you can see, I did a little bit more um, of modification after I finished videoing. Um, sometimes you don't know when to stop, but um, I'm quite happy with the final result now. And also, when you do something like this, don't forget to wipe your drips from underneath. Otherwise, the drips will continue to draw your paint off um, the canvas, or in this case, the board. So always make sure you wipe those drips from underneath. Okay, so I shall see you back here in Studio 33 in the not-too-distant future. Until then, stay safe. Bye-bye.